Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to negate anybody's yeah. concerns in this, but yeah. I want council to lead. Okay, issue number two. Hmm. With, <laughs> uh, should we be expanding that happy little road that took us 50 years to build, <laughs> which is, of course, the Red Hill Expressway, uh, the Lincoln Alexander Parkway to the Red Hill Expressway. Yep. If you're new to Hamilton, which I know many of you are, I run into new fans all the time. Welcome to the Osho. Welcome to our great town. We have a history, though of fighting over infrastructure projects to the tune of 50 years in this one particular case. And now, Lauren, after it was all finally built, the mountain councillor is talking about expanding the lanes on the on the on expressway, the link. on and, the link, and the, and, the, and the Red Hill. Both. It's the same road, everybody. Well. Um, I'm saying, when you get on it, you don't suddenly realize you've changed roads. <laughs> um, but they're talking about adding uh, another two lanes. What do you think? Um, I think it is incredibly necessary at many points throughout the day. Um, the congestion on the East Mountain is a real thing. Mm -hmm. um, there is grossly inadequate public transit up there, mm -hmm. as well as the people who live up there drive cars. Right. And just because you are a bad person who chooses to live in a subdivision on the East Mountain. Hey, wait a sec, I live in a subdivision on the East Mountain. What do you say? Well, then th I, you're not forced to have ridiculous congestion and poor infrastructure. Mm -hmm. It is a real thing. One thing has nothing to do with the other. LRT is not going to clear up the congestion that exists on the link mm -hmm. and Red Hill. It's not a, a, a behind door one or behind door number two. But what I don't understand is, and this isn't even a Hamilton thing, infrastructure Infrastructure projects are built to get through the next hurdle, not the next multiple hurdles. And these both, the east-west mm -hmm. and the north-south, could have been built with six lanes to begin with, mm -hmm. and they weren't. And I'm not an expert on transportation infrastructure, but the argument against it is the more roads you build, the more cars you attract. Mm -hmm. Aren't roads supposed to attract cars? Aren't they supposed to move people off the... Are Interior roads and get people out of off Mohawk and off Stone Church. Mm -hmm. That was the whole point of it. Mm -hmm. So there's no sense dwelling in the past, but they should have been built as a six lane uh, highway, both um, and the Red Hill and. You know, I don't find a lot of congestion on the link of the Red Hill unless it's rush hour. It, it's either rush hour in the morning, rush hour, uh, and three really. Three till six o'clock. It's when the schools pick up. That's yeah. when you can't get across the link for those five, uh, five exits. Uh, that being said, um, uh, there is definitely congestion at key at peak points. Mm -hmm. What about though the discussion around tolls? I mean, if you're going to expand a road in 2015, do tolls make sense? Can the city continue to afford it? And why should transit users have to pay to use something that's already taxpayer subsidized, but road users shouldn't? Well, tolls wouldn't work. People would avoid the road. Um, Hamiltonians would avoid the road if they had to pay for it. Um, additionally, though. Our, our roads are paid by drivers through the gas tax. Mm -hmm. That's 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 not a so. A, but what a about fantastical way? But that, what about Jackson's legitimate. proposal of a 50-50 split with the province? province uh, I like the province or the feds or anybody paying all of it. I know, but if we if we're paying from the municipal base, that's not going to come out of the tax dollars, is it? I all don't I, know all where I, the city's going to get the money All I'm from. saying is that part of the reason for the Red Hill to the link was to take QEW traffic across to the 403, right? That was also part of it. And to take people to the industrial park up there, the Glanbrook Industrial Park and things like that. Sure. So it wasn't just to take those of us who live near Mohawk Road off of Mohawk and go up and go mm -hmm. south to the link. Um, so I'm just looking at this, and, and I'm, I'm not against it per se. You know, I'd like to see the numbers and see why they feel it's necessary, and, you know, the road is there. Um, what I am interested in, though, is are we going to spend tax dollars that aren't part of that gas tax revenue to pay for the road without even considering a user fee?